I'm Tetsuo Sasano, a professor of the Department of Cardiovascular Medicine, TMDU. Today, I'd like to introduce our trial to predict the arrhythmia named atrial fibrillation to reduce the risk of stroke. Stroke, it suddenly happened and destroyed your healthy life. Stroke is classified into the several types of hemorrhage and infarction. One of the most severe types of stroke is cardiogenic embolism. Cardiogenic embolism occurs on the basis of an arrhythmia called atrial fibrillation, AF. When the heart has AF, thrombus, a blood clot, is generated in the left atrium, and if the thrombus jumps into the blood flow, it may cause a huge cerebral infarction. It is cardiogenic embolism. So the question is, how many people suffer from AF? The estimated number of patients with AF is approximately 1 million in Japan. Furthermore, it is well known that the prevalence of AF increases in the elderly population. So the number of patients with AF will increase in the future. AF is diagnosed by electrocardiogram, ECG. However, AF occurs in a proximal form, so even if patients have AF, we need to record the ECG during AF. It is sometimes difficult. If we record ECG in normal sinus rhythm, we cannot say anything, and it is impossible to diagnose AF. In that case, the patient sometimes has strokes before the diagnosis of AF. It is a very critical issue. We have been developing a prediction of AF with various modalities. The first is genetic information. Several studies, including our group, published the risk of SNPs, single nucleotide polymorphisms, in relation to AF. The genetic risk score derived from these SNPs can predict the risk of AF from the genetic aspect. The second is a biomarker. We reported that atrial myocyte release nucleotide like DNA and RNA into the extracellular space. Therefore, we can measure these extracellular nucleotides in our peripheral blood samples. We found that mitochondrial cell-free DNA and microRNA diagnostic panel can predict AF only from blood test. The third one is the ECG. As I told you, it was hard to say if the subject has AF or not only from the ECG in sinus rhythm. However, we apply deep learning or newly invented fragment analysis. Using these methods, we can estimate the risk of AF from ECG even during sinus rhythm. Combining this approach, we generated much modal risk assessment of AF only by blood test and conventional ECG during sinus rhythm. This application will be applicable to regular medical check. Based on these findings, we are now moving into the application of this AF prediction system in a large cohort. We perform a large-scale experiment in Shizuoka City, 200 kilometers away from our university. We started this attempt with ECG analysis, so the participant has a regular medical check with conventional ECG, and we estimate the risk of AF using deep learning. If the ECG analysis determines the participant has high risk of AF, we perform remote monitoring to detect AF. We use two equipments, small telemetry ECG or pulse wave sensor as in smartwatch. The ECG or pulse wave data are transferred to the cloud server and we performed AI-based automatic diagnosis. Using this prediction and detection system of AF, we try to reduce cardiogenic stroke. The system is applicable even in a local area with little medical resources. The participants have only to have regular medical checkup. Our goal is to contribute to the maintenance of healthy life in the whole country. Thank you for watching this video.